Hey guys, it's Broker Bros, and welcome back to my reviews of my hope my season six episodes. Oops. After a few weeks off, off, off the cast, the pastel colored ponies, these are back, and start with a episode called Stranger Than Fan Fiction, which is a Rainbow Dash episode. About oh, her favorite author, A.K. Yearling slash Daring at Do. So, who? Oh, who? Oh, this this was immediately the after her how they left it off before going to the to the hiatus. I was just ready to rip my hair out, but finally, they had a good episode. I mean, if you compare this with Newbie Dash, there is a contrast of difference. This is no, this isn't by no means a perfect episode. I mean, you know, no, I, I, I doubt, you know, you're never going to get a perfect episode of MLP because whatever you do, Will, will it will annoy someone? It will it you know it will get under someone's skin, you know, or someone won't like it. They'll say, "Oh, that's not good," you know. But this episode was, you know, it it was solid, and um, hopefully the rest of the episodes in the remainder of season six can follow this pattern. And with this episode, we're actually halfway through the season. Because this is, of course, episode 13. So, oh, the episode centers around uh, Rainbow Dash going to a convention uh, about dare, for Daring Do. Oh, and, you know, oh, 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 some fans online see this as a shout out to the conventions that the uh, My Little Pony fandom have for this show. Oh, and. I, I could see that, you know. All popular things have conventions, so, you know. And the fact that Akira Hang was actually at the convention mm, made it a bit more interesting. Mm. Now, who, who one downer at the start of the episode was Twilight. And here's why. So, last season, when in the episode... In the uh, episode where Gilda returns, and Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash are sent off to Griffin and st oh, and to solve a friendship problem. And Twilight is really distraught that she didn't get a chance to go. Now, she is getting a chance to go to Griffin Stone, and she would rather be E. And, she, and just her mannerisms say she would rather be anywhere else. Else, else. Let alone the convention, I just got the feeling that she would rather be anywhere else. Like, he, he, it, she just seemed really upset. And hmm, Rainbow Dash has to get cry from for what she did. You know, she he said, you know what, th th this convention it's not that great. You know, yeah, it's Akira will be our first ever convention. She's gonna be there. But we know ooh, her personally. We've met her. We know her her secret. It, it. So it's not really that groundbreaking for or us that she's coming to a first ever convention. And you know, this isn't exactly what Rainbow would dash said, but this is along the lines. And and I have to give Rainbow a spot on credit. This is exactly what she needed to say. This is you know People who sometimes chastise Rainbow Dash for, for doing stuff against her element and against her character. But this this perf this was the perfect way to you know you know, she cheered her Twilight up, you know. It was good. It that Rainbow Dash as as I guess has learned something from her past mistakes. 
He's, you know, she she wasn't. She he basically he said to Twilight, you know this, you know, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Obviously, she had a bit of a fan girl moment, and when she got there, but what she said to Twilight at that moment was exactly what needed to be said. She said the exact right thing, and I have to give her immense credit. Because I get the feeling that someone's going to call that someone is going to call this cheap or forced or some other kind of bullshit. It I'm going to give very much that credit. It was a a little, little mini speech. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Like just chatter between friends, whatever you want to call it. Ramp would dash stole the uh, pre. He tile sequence. So at the convention, Rainbow Dash runs into a, a pony named Quaver, who is played by he the voice of Remy from Ratatouille. He and uh, I actually didn't realize it was him until I was I listened closer. And I was like, I know that voice somewhere. And then it clicked to me. I was like, it's Remy! <laughs> and the only reason I recognized the voice is because I was playing the Minecraft story mode there the other day. I was like, that's Remy! <laughs> so, oh, oh, uh, oh, a strange career from a, uh, playing a rat, a cooking rat, to a. Minecraft hero sort of thing to a pony. Yep, uh, that's 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 a normal career, I guess. Well, I'm not an actor, so I don't know. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, so they talk about the uh, the books. They they bond over or their shared love of of AK Ares original trilogy so I was you know get the feeling that he and he then says that he only likes those books he didn't like the later ones and, and I don't know why but it struck me as like if he were a Star Wars fan now hear me out Oops. Star Wars fans loved the original trilogy of of movies but they hated the uh, newer prequels because they just <clears throat> they were you know Phantom Menace is probably the most hated Star Wars movie and you know the other two aren't exactly if high on the fa Phantom's love of I I just got the feeling that you know I know it's something completely different but it sounded like you know what he said about the books now obviously we haven't read the books the books aren't real. Well, although Hasbro could probably make a fucking killing if they actually made released real books about the Aaron Do. I mean, you know, it could get someone to write that. It could get someone to write that and put them under the name him, him AK Yearling. Why not? I'm handy. I'm I'm giving you ideas for more money, Hasbro. You are welcome. <laughs> Because people will fucking buy that shit. That's. Um. Anyway, I just got the feeling that you know I know there are two different things. I'm not saying they're any way similar. Or you know, books and movies. These are completely different. But you know, the way he talked about h hating the. You know, he said the things that. During do did in the later books were on original and you know were on impossible. One just couldn't do them, and no one, no it couldn't be done. You know, Rainbow Dash should have said at that point that she had had in order her her defeat had a a dark person that. Dita had overtaken the Princess of the Moon, hmm? prevented Changeling invasion, and 
Hmm? Hmm? Prevented King Samura from retaking the Crystal Empire. Her? Her did. And, you know, all that stuff. Remember, that should be. He, he's saying, hang on a second, that stuff is impossible. I. I've been through shit and way more crazy than that. Yeah. And Rainbow, you know, it's so weird that some ponies just don't recognize what the other, what the main six have done. Like, just, is, is Celestia somehow keeping all this a secret? Like, do, do the ponies not remember Tyrick taking all their magic? Like, like or, huh? Her. That the fact that there was only one princess for 1,000 fucking years. Hers. Or the changelings chasing them around trying to steal their love. Have. I don't know if there was any crystal. He's in the every general was saying he, but I'm sure they. Her. Remember the fact that at Sombra didn't re he take the fucking empire. And I, I know who's. Mike is technically the hair. Oh, but, you know, he couldn't have done it without the Queen Six's help. Oh, yeah. Remember, that should be like, yo, I've done way more crazy shit than some of the stuff in that, in those books. Anyway, enough, uh, enough babbling. Um, yeah. So, oh, Oh, Ram, oh, the Ashton, uh, Quaver or Remy. I'm just gonna stick to calling him Remy. I'm sorry. He, he, it's just so much easier. Cause in my head, it's like he's, it's Remy, it's Remy. Oh my God, it's that rap from that movie. Hey, hey, hey. It was a Pixar movie, or was it? Disney? No, it's Pixar. That's going on in my head and I can't freaking stop it, so I'm just gonna call him Remy if you mm. Sorry if you have a problem with that. Sorry. Um Right, um so would Rim um meet the play Hey who sheds the AK yearling disguise He's to go into her normal daring do look and so she's like, keep an eye out for anything suspicious. And Rainbow, instantly, straight after this, walks right past those, those, uh, like, I don't know what you call, maybe they're, you know, gangster ponies? I don't know. But, you know, the bad guys who were planning to sell that ring from the Daring Do episode to Ali Zoto. You know, those guys. Rainbow had to actually hear their voices to remember. Oh yeah, those guys. <laughs> she he bumps into her um, ponies, but then she does find them. And weirdly enough, she happens to just pass a man who's like, "Yo, what the hell are you doing?" And, and suddenly he's falling. Rainbow. Oh, oh. They both get captured, heard, heard, then there's this crazy ass fly sequence where a ring was dragging him along on a rope, oh, 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 which was, you know, badass. I mean, you know, it's not special a rainbow's done. I mean, rainbow is going back to the first season, rainbow say, the Wonderbolts and Rare, the all while doing her Sonic Rainbow. So it's not like he carrying a pony he, he who got roped tied, who's hanging onto a rope or tied to a rope. Who is like anything special? But you know, it, it, the pure sequence looked really he cool. Also, I'll give the right the uh, writers. There's a of the show who cry for that. Um
Then the Hindu who can aim and they if he had to solve puzzle whole whole daring do got the uh, treasure she was looking for her and they managed to get away before the uh, bad guys even knew what was going on and so on oh, great episode Ode. Ode. your man did, still doesn't like the layer books but he's but you know he, they they resolved he and rainbow did um, Remy and Rainbow did resolve their issues, and yeah, all in all, it was a fantastic episode. But, um, I think I'm gonna give this episode an eight out of ten. Um, I think it was really good, uh, and if. The rest of season six can keep this pattern going. Hmm. Yeah, all power to it. Um, so yeah. Ah. Ponies are back. Heck, and uh, I'm back to review the episodes. And uh, for those of you wondering when am I going to review the uh, episodes from the previous season, I'm going to save doing that until, well, Season six is complete, and um, I've also I'm also going to re review uh, the movies as well because the uh, the new movie is apparently going straight onto Netflix because of course why isn't it because season five isn't on there you know I know it's on there I know I know it's on the American one but all I have is one to four. Or, of course, I live in Ireland, you know. That's bro. If you're if you're watching, chances are I'm not. But you know, do something about that, okay? But yeah, ah, uh, uh, Ao, O10, nah. solid, solid, it, and uh, yeah, it's good to, you know, Game of Thrones is finished now, so it's good to have a weekly dose of MLP. To satisfy my television viewing needs, because there's fuck all on television. Hmm. Oh, fuck all else on television. Hmm. It's either on Netflix or you can watch it somewhere online, which is probably true for the shit that's on telly, because I don't, because I don't have, which is pretty much. How I watch MLP for the record. I watch it online. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna stop babbling on and on and on and on. So, oh, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of Stranger Than Fan Fiction, and, and I will see you all next weekend for, for episode 14. Until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And to like if you did, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.